ready to kickstart Blender in 2025? This is my roadmap to becoming a pro and it can be yours too. No fluff, just step by step guide to take you from novice to expert. Watch, apply and let's get started. Alright, this is you. To get started, the first step is to download Blender onto your machine. Once the installation is been done, you are ready to dive in. But before we jump into the level 1, there are two stages you need to tackle. The first stage, setting a clear goal. Before you touch anything, I want you to pause for a second and really think, why do you want to learn 3D? What's your model? Let me give you a few examples. Maybe you want to become a VFX artist or you just love creating 3D models. Whatever it is, make sure your reason is clear and meaningful. Next, think about which industry you want to land in. Do you want to be an animator, a sculptor or maybe a hot surface artist? Pick a land that excites you but choose wisely and once you do, commit it to it like your future depends on it. It's kind of a dust. Congratulations, with a clear vision you are now ready to move to the next stage, Tutorials. Tutorials are powerful. They cover everything from basic concept to advanced techniques. There you get ways to understand how things work, what tools to use and how to apply them effectively. It's not just learning, it's experience. So find a good tutorial in your niche. If you have chosen hot surface modeling, I've got a fantastic beginner friendly course for you. Many students have already enrolled in this course and completed with stunning artworks to show for it. You'll learn everything from setting up the UI and mastering the basic navigation to create a final render. It's completely free and the best part, it doesn't require any paid add-ons. So grab the course right now, the link is in the video description. So now you've set a clear goal and gained some basic knowledge about 3D, congrats. You've reached the first level, that's a huge achievement, but if you aim aiming for the next stage, there is a problem is waiting for you. Tutorial help. Hello, motherfucker. This is a trap most people fall into, including me back in the days. Let me break it down. You watch the tutorial, copy the instructions and think, hmm, I'm not good enough. So you watch another one, copy it again, still feel no progress and the cycle repeats. Sounds familiar? The good news. This trap is easy to escape with the right move. Instead of getting stuck in the loop, I want you to take a big leap and land on the next stage, testing your skill. That's where real growth happens. Knowledge is worthless unless you put it into practice. Remember, watching countless tutorials won't make you better. Practice thus. You'll learn the basics. You know how things work. So, it's time to get start your own project. Create something from your own ideas. I know. It's tough, especially when you're just starting out. It can feel confusing, even frustrating. If you get stuck, sure, look up for tutorials, but don't rely on it. Use it as a tool to solve your specific problem, not as a crutch. By experimenting and creating from your own imagination, you'll discover more than any tutorial can teach you. You'll grow and you fall in love with the process. No matter what, finish that project and hey, send it to me. I love to see what you create. So go ahead, experiment, learn, fail, fail harder, research and then reap your reward. That's how you grow into a true artist. Now there's a one more stage to cross before you reach level 2, joining the community. Here's the thing, iron sharpens iron. Being a part of Blender community helps you to build a network and find a team, which is incredibly valuable. Let me share a quick story, 2 years ago. When I was just starting my 3D journey, I thought I was pretty good at modeling. I had taken courses, watched tutorials and even uploaded a few of my artworks to Blender community. I expected heaps of price, but instead I got tons of critics. It's stung, I won't lie. But after a few days, I realized those comments were actually gold. They showed me where I was falling short and I used that feedback to improve. It was a game changer. So. Joining a community isn't just for fun, it's about learning, growing and getting mentored by people who have been there. There are tons of amazing servers out there. And if you are looking for a place to connect, you can join my discord server. 
We explore ideas, share tips, and push each other to grow. So, join today. Link down below. You made it. You are now at the top of level two. Only about ten percent of artists ever get here, but we are not stopping here. Because to truly become an impregnable artist, we have to keep moving forward. So, give your full attention to the next two stages as we push forward level three. Stage five. Pushing yourself. Here's a small disclaimer. This stage won't be like the one you crossed so far. It's going to be really hard and incredibly challenging. But remember, the harder the challenge, the greater the reward. At this stage, you need to face your fear and take on projects you find intimidating or difficult. Let me share my story. After reaching level two, I found myself stuck in a comfort zone. I modeled a few sci-fi and mechanical objects. and they became second nature to me but deep down i wanted to create something bigger a mecha or defense robot the problem i had no clue where to start or how to design one so i avoided it entirely then i decided to challenge myself i studied how other artists approach similar design gathered tons of references and implemented my modeling strategy bpst by the way you can check out that video on my channel It was tough. There was frustration and plenty of trial and errors. But after putting in hard work, I achieved my goal. Now, I am setting my sight on even bigger challenges. And you should too. Whether it's creating a jaw-dropping animation, an epic VFX shot or an ambitious 3D model, prove yourself that you are capable of far more than you think. Embrace this discomfort and grow beyond your limits. The final stage to reach level 3 is keep learning. The biggest mistake an artist can make, the one that can undo everything they worked so hard to build, is to stop learning. Many people fall into this trap, letting their success slip away because they got too comfortable. Once you reach the good level, don't forget what you got there. Your learning mindset. No matter how skilled you are, always keep a white belt mentality. Stay humble, stay curious. Be a student who is eager to learn in new techniques, pick up tips from others and grow. Drop the ego because the moment you think you know it all, someone else will outpace you. Don't let that happen. After conquering all the stages, you finally achieved level 3. I don't even need to tell you how incredible that is. You already know. But let me remind you of something. Getting here took hard work, time, effort and dedication. So Take a moment to celebrate your wins, rest, spend time with your family and loved ones, and recharge. Don't rush the journey. Take it one stage at a time and trust in the process. Use this roadmap as your guide to navigate your 3D journey. Once again, good luck.